Hello everyone, this is Prem Kumar. In this video, we are going to look about the charts in report definition. In the report definition, we have the second tab of charts where we can define a lot of colorful charts. Currently, you have 12 different types of charts which you can define. As you can see in the picture, these are just sample charts where you can have this bar chart, pie chart and 10 other different charts. So in this video, we will see how to use the charts in the report definition. Let's right away go to Destiny Studio and check it out. So again, I'm going to use the same report definition which I used in the previous videos. Now let's go to the chart tab and check how we can use the chart. I get a message here. You must save this report with at least one aggregate numerical column. So best aggregate numerical column can be count. So let's configure one column to take the count of cases and then we can come back here and define charts so that our charts can easily be represented using that aggregate column. Now let's go to query tab and in the PY ID, I'm going to use the count. So I'm going to take number of cases that are created and my first priority of sorting will be on the PY status work and then I said like customer ID and finally create operator. Okay, now we have defined the aggregate property. Now just do a save. As soon as you do a save, now go to chart tab, there you will find include chart button is visible. Now use that button to include the chart editor. As you can see, there are different charts available. You can click the link all chart type that is going to list you the different type of charts which you can use. You see bar chart, column chart, pie chart is there and then all other different gauge, spark and thing. Mostly we will be using this column chart and pie chart and also bar chart but not the other charts. So in this video first we will try to implement this column chart that is the default chart which is enabled which is the most commonly used chart. Let's give a submit here. Now let's get the data into the chart. First thing for any column chart it always expect us to drop the aggregate column into the columns. So what we have to do is we already know case ID is the aggregate column. If you try to drop the case status, it's not going to allow you. So all you have to do is just drag the case ID here and then it says, okay, I will let you in. So case ID will be there and the aggregate column. Next is under which column you can group the results. So I'm going to use case status as the group by column so that I can group the cases based on the status. And finally, I also want to see different cases that are created by different operators. So I'm going to drop the create operator into those columns. So if there are two operators who created the climbs case, then I will have some two columns which is differentiated. Okay, now we completed the chart. So you see how easy it is to just configure the chart. All you did is drag and drop. Now do a save and then run this. Let's test how this chart works. As you can see, there are five cases on new status, five cases on pending approval status, and you also see the blue one is from Prem. So Prem created four pending approval cases and Minopega operator created only one pending approval cases. So this is again the report viewer. So you can do all the operations you want, including the chart actions. You can save as this into an image and then you can download it. Maybe you can send it via email to someone else. Now getting back to the Destiny Studio, let's check the other configurations which we can do. Now let me show you one more thing. Instead of using the create operator, I'm just going to change and I want to see how many cases per customer ID in real time. Ideally, it will be like one case per customer ID. But during the development, I just did some wrong way of presenting the data. I had the same kind of customer ID in multiple places. So let's check how this renders. As you can see, of course, there are different customer ID. There are four cases with empty customer ID. And there is only one place where Minopega customer ID has two climbs cases. And for all other climbs cases, I have some kind of unique customer ID because the result is always one. So by this way, you can group or you can create different charts, visual representation of charts, and then you can present it to the business users. And they will really find it interesting or it's like they understand it very clearly when you give some pictures to the business users. Okay, now let's look at the different configurations in the chart. You can configure the title for the chart. You can configure the color settings. Let's check the color settings here, general color settings. Click on this. There you can see what type of color you want and the background and then you can define the palette of available colors. And if you check the other options like conditional colors, Let's say for this condition, when the customer ID is Minopega, then I want to display it in black color. 
okay so i will say in customer id is mino pega then i'm going to choose the color from here and then do a submit now let's run this and check how that renders as you can see the mino pega operator it has the black color so you can also change the colors using these different options general settings also you can define or change the position of your legends or format different options for example in the legend option you can decide at which place you want to show the legend you can also decide on bottom right horizontal vertical and show slider you can also slide and vary to check how it varies if you have a lot of data this is really helpful so all these charts you can explore on your own finally i will also show you a different chart i want to show you the pie chart let's check this pie chart normal pie chart and for pie chart you need to provide only two things one is the case id then the other is the case status let it be i want to check based on the case status so definitely it's going to be 50 50 for sure yes five five cases now let me change this and i want to see based on the create operator so definitely it should be nine is to one let's check that how it renders so most of the chunk of climbs records cases is created by me yeah as you see here so you can use different charts and nicely present your data i'll end this video here see you